Live from the first state, this is WHYY Delaware Tonight. Well, coming up on WHYY Delaware Tonight, what a common vitamin can do for cancer patients. A controversial treatment gets support from laboratory studies. Turning to our medical news now, vitamin C is often used as an antioxidant, an immune booster, and an essential nutrient to stave off scurvy. Now, cancer patients are also turning to the vitamin as an alternative therapy for killing tumor cells. Carrie Grenz reports from the WHYY Health and Science Desk. Stephanie, doctors have been administering vitamin C to cancer patients for years. And while the cancer data in humans are inconclusive, research on mice just gave the therapy a big boost. Good catch! Ellen Hall is a mother of two in Newark. Last spring, she was diagnosed with breast cancer and discussed the treatment options with her oncologist. I basically knew all the options as far as conventional therapy, which is surgery, radiation, and chemo. Um, chemo in my situation, he said I really didn't need it, but I could get it if I wanted it. Chemotherapy was an undesirable option for Hall because of the side effects. When she discussed her cancer with Dr. Scott Greenberg, who was treating her allergies, he recommended something different, intravenous injections of vitamin C. I was very fortunate. The breast cancer was uh, diagnosed at a, a very early stage. So I opted not to have chemo. and. I decided to go ahead with the vitamin C treatments as a uh, complement to the surgery and the radiation. Hall goes once a week to the Magaziner Center for Wellness in Cherry Hill, New Jersey to receive her treatment. We've treated numerous types of cancer such as ovarian cancer, breast cancer, colon cancer, lung cancer, uh, some brain tumors, and um, you know the results that we have have sometimes been exemplary. Greenberg says the treatment works like chemotherapy but does not have side effects and actually protects healthy cells. The mechanism and how it works is actually quite unique in that it produces hydrogen peroxide around the cancer cells which kills them off. But the antioxidant ability of the vitamin C in the healthy cells actually protects it even when patients are undergoing chemotherapy. The treatment has been controversial and clinical trials have shown that patients live no longer with the treatment than without. But a study last month in mice showed vitamin C injections dramatically reduced tumors. We've done this with patients for years and years and have had very good success. And the nice thing is, is as we were doing our treatments and seeing our patient successes, there's more and more scientific literature that was coming out about the treatment, which only reinforced what we were doing. Patients receive a drip injection of massive doses of vitamin C once or twice a week for weeks or months. Researchers say the treatment and data look promising, but more clinical data are necessary to recommend vitamin C as a cancer treatment. There's really no way to definitively determine if it's helped get rid of cancer cells in my body. So I, I, that cannot be measured. But I can tell you I feel good and it's definitely helped my immune system. Dr. Greenberg says this is not something to try at home. Patients get 50,000 to 100,000 milligrams of vitamin C in a treatment. We should also note that there is debate among doctors as to whether vitamin C should be taken with chemotherapy.